Welcome back to In Your Neighborhood. I'm your host, Sharla Brown, and on today's show, we've been talking about all kinds of great live local theater with Cambrian players, and now we're going to talk about Paramount Live. So you're also both involved with Paramount Live. Let's talk about what uh, what that's all about. Yeah, we, uh, we are. <laughs> uh, so we both uh, started actually directing at Paramount Live. Uh, you've been there a lot longer than me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I have no concept of time, no. so <laughs> a few years. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> we just uh, we both got involved by starting with directing. Um, and this is a, a children's theater group. So. Right. Awesome. Yeah. So let's talk about how old or how young um, children can be to participate. Uh, with Paramount Live, there is we have the Theater Babies program. That's the youngest one, and they, as long as they're potty trained, they can go. Wow. And there's no age restriction, so you can be as old as you want and join with the senior production because we have different levels of groups for yeah. for the shows. And maybe let's talk about some of those productions that um, that you've done in the past and that people might be familiar with. I've been very lucky to be able to do a lot of wonderful shows with Paramount. I directed Mary Poppins, mm. which was really, really exciting and, and brilliant. Oh, yes. uh, the show, not my work. <laughs> it was just a really good show. Um, I also directed Cats, and I've been involved with a number of shows as well. There, uh, Shrek, Grease, Hairspray. Uh, there's probably more that I can't oh, think yeah, of right now. Surprised. And currently I am uh, directing The Lion King Jr., which oh. is coming out very shortly, actually. Yes, yes. And let's talk a little bit about that. So that's the next production, and it's right around the corner. So Yes. Yeah. It's too, like, not this, it's next week. Yeah. <laughs> 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 which is even probably sooner by the time we, ta we air this. So th let's do the exact date. Uh, so the date. dates... Uh, we open on January 19th, mm -hmm. and we run the 19th, 20th, and 21st. Okay, and where does that happen? Because that's not at the Finlandia. No, that happens at the Paramount Theatre, uh, which is connected to our studio. So that's one really wonderful thing that we've got, uh, the ability to have a theatre dedicated to our kids. So we rehearse in the studio, we can rehearse on the stage, so that they're really getting that full immersion, so it's not like we're moving in, moving right. out sort of idea. So that's really awesome for the kids. And um, it's just a really great show, and, and, and we're, it's about ages 8 to 13 for this one, and they're just wonderful, brilliant, young people. And you sometimes have to shake your head and go, wow, you, you impressed me, you've given me goosebumps, the, what you brought to the stage. Nice. And, and they grow so much, and they learn. They probably won't realize how much they've learned until they're much older, but... When I think about my upcoming and my experience in the theater, I would have loved to have an experience mm -hmm. like this when I was that age. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm just so lucky to be able to do this. Yeah, because it teaches also a skill set of just being comfortable being on a stage, public speaking, um, working, collaborating with other um, peers your age. Absolutely, oh, yeah. the theater is the best experience for life you'll ever get because that's what we all are in some sense as actors in the world. Mm -hmm. You know, we put on a costume, we go to work and we put on a performance. Mm -hmm. So this is giving them that confidence to Absolutely. say, okay, I am special, I am enough. That's and right. It's so good. Wonderful. Now it's the Lion King, King Jr. Jr. Is it just like the Lion King or is there a different kind it's of spin? It's just like the Lion King. It's just a little bit more condensed. Okay. So whereas the, the full Broadway version would have would be about two and a half hours long, big right. things. It's just kind of brought down a little because they're they're smaller, yeah, you they're know, and some a of lot the, of lines to remember. Exactly, oh, yes. and some of the concepts are, are are a little bit greater than their capabilities at the, the moment. So it's it's just this beautiful little uh, flower of a show, you know, like it's just so self-contained and gorgeous. So mm -hmm. and tickets for this show now they must be on sale, already mm -hmm. selling all that stuff. How do people get tickets to the show? Uh, so tickets for this one they're available at our outlet, which is the Loop, uh, the clothing store. Uh, they have tickets for all three evening performances there. And if you don't get them there, you can get them at the door. But they are selling very fast. So mm -hmm. again, you want to get them in advance. <laughs> Absolutely. And do you have your next um, production? chosen because you're going to be wrapping this one up if there's somebody watching maybe a parent or a grandparent that yeah. says hey you know m my kids or my grandkids should get involved what's the process for getting involved um you know how does so somebody after lion king we do have um one more show too it's the winnie the pooh kids so okay. it's our kids and the theater oh, babies on. so they, they perform at the top of february okay and at that point we will be also having registration for our next season uh, and we just released um that block of shows right now and 
it's an incredible season. Um, the senior production will be Into the Woods, which my, myself, Spencer, and Lawrence will be directing. Um, and then the junior show is Hairspray Junior. Uh, the kids show is The Music Man, and the theater babies are doing um, uh, Three Little Pigs. Wow. And a new thing that we have, we started last year, is we're not just musicals, we're also doing plays. Uh, and Julie McCoy is going to be directing Father of the Bride. Mm. So for those kids who don't enjoy singing, they don't have to, they can just do the play and it's just as much of a great experience as the musicals are. Yeah. Um, so yeah, to get involved, you come for our registration nights um, and you pay your registration fee, you get put into the shows that you, with the, you know, your age range. Yeah. And uh, it's, it, that's another, it's such a great experience for children. And what's the uh, kind of time commitment? Because parents are always like, you know, bringing their kids to whatever events, activities, all that kind of stuff. Is it something that's a couple times a week or? Uh, yeah, it depends which, uh, which level that you're in. Uh, most of them rehearse twice a week. Mm -hmm. The little kids only rehearse once a week because right. their, their attention span doesn't, uh, doesn't grant them that. So yes. um, twice a week uh, and then closer to the performances, you're required to come for a few extra rehearsals because we do our dress rehearsals, our full tech rehearsals. Uh, and then you're, you perform your shows. Yes, yes. So you mentioned with in terms of attention spans, you've got energy, oh. you've got, what's it like directing children? Well, it's a little <laughs> bit like um, herding cats into a very specific door. And uh, if that sounds difficult, it because it is. And uh, so yes, we often come away from rehearsals with hoarse voices and you know, frayed nerves. But it's so rewarding. Oh, yes. You know, like you're just like, oh, I'm glad they're not my kids. Take them, take them, <laughs> take them home. But then you're just like, oh, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of the work that you've done. I'm so proud of who you've become yes. because they changed. So, you know, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's nuts. Yeah. But it's so special and beautiful. Yeah, well, even with the shows that Paramount Live chooses, like they're, they're big licensed shows, um, like even like with Lion King and Into the Woods, like these are, they're huge musicals mm -hmm. that, that are happening and we do them in such a short amount of time and the effort that the kids are putting in, it's to see them on stage at the end, you could be pulling your hair out through the rehearsal process, but when you see that, that end production, it makes everything worth it in the end. Yes, absolutely. And these are great for people to come out and enjoy as a family. So even if you're not part of the production, let's talk about that in terms of, um, we, we were talking about getting tickets and stuff like that, but that these are very family friendly. Tickets are very reasonable. Oh yes, uh, I mean, for the for the productions that you're getting, uh, the, the tickets are very reasonable. Um, but it's a great, we've had actually the last run of shows we had quite a few birthday parties coming so you know if you have a you know mm -hmm. your group of girls that want to go see a show on a Friday night they all come and do it as a birthday party um, every show is family oriented though so you never have to worry yeah. some of the senior shows there's some uh, more mature themes but not well, so does a Disney would, movie right <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> yeah nothing that would ever offend anyone that's for sure wonderful wonderful and then you have one more upcoming production that we're gonna uh, mention which is really right around the corner as well that's a Cambrian production which is your dinner theater. yeah Cambrian players is also doing a, a fundraiser they're called uh, it's uh, a dinner theater at the Finlandia uh, and it's they're producing um, love letters uh, starring Bev uh, Beverly Gravel McLeod, uh, as well as Gabe Fratso, and they did this show uh, many years ago as a fundraiser. So Wonderful. they're recreating it again, um, mm -hmm. and it's uh, it's to help you know because it's it's expensive to put on these shows. Exactly. Doesn't matter what company you're at, it's very very. Uh, cost, uh, you know, it, it costs lots of money. Yes. So to do, uh, to be able to do these big productions, we need to fundraise. So right. uh, February 11th, they'll be holding a the Love Letters Dinner Theater. Nice. So people can get tickets in advance, kind of in the same locations where we mentioned before. Yes. Or at the door if there's any uh, left. For, because this is a dinner theater, Ooh. you have to buy them in right. advance. So right, right, right. Yes. Yeah, Steepers so. and Calico, I believe, are the ones to get uh, the tickets. places to get those tickets. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Well, we are out of time, believe it or not. Wow. But I want to thank you, Candy <laughs> and Spencer, for being on the show today all the work that you do because it's a lot of effort to make sure that Thunder Bay can come out and enjoy some beautiful live local Absolutely. theater. So I want to uh, thank you for being on the show. I want to thank everybody for uh, tuning in today. Be sure to check out some upcoming productions and support live local theater here in Thunder Bay. Be sure to keep watching next week. There's more coming up on In Your Neighborhood.